Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for part 3 of the last 16 round. And if part 1 and 2 were anything to go by, we're in for a treat, aren't we? In this video, we got two matches to go through here, starting off with LP Gozzi going up against Moloch Horridus, and then Hilk going up against Xeno Slick Goku. This bracket, the this bottom left bracket, definitely some surprise results in the last 32 round, with Lousp, Engineer Gaming and Nopi all going out. And well, this matchup was not really much of a surprise because gozzi has been excellent in this tournament so far. Well, let's let's get on with the match. Let's go on with the match. <laughs> we don't want to dilly dally. Talk is cheap. Right, the old then in the red corner for the God Man. We got well Terry, of course. <laughs> Actually, you know what's interesting? I may have figured out a way to put Terry into Evolution 2. Like, not, like, full-size Terry, like, Chibi Terry into Evolution 2. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. No, what I'm trying to do is that uh, I have, I obviously have the DS skin. I actually have the DS skin of Dinosaur Kid. And I'm going to find, get a cable that allows me to connect my DS to my computer. And then I'm going to try and rip tool, rip models out of the DS game, which might be better for me than doing it in this game mode because I have tried ripping models out of this game mode and they look very um let's just say two-dimensional but anyway you'll see plenty of that soon hopefully on to the now which is this matchup and it didn't even say who was competing oh look we got Terry against Sychenia seen this before haven't we and it didn't end well for the Sychenia did it but a tie will favor Moloch there the tie specialist here Ooh, but it's the Gosman getting the first hit. Not much damage, though. Not much damage. Even though this Terry is super attack type. Actually, no, I think it's reform type. Never mind. Ooh, a crit from Moloch Oradoso. Sychenia striking back. Tie bomb coming in now. And a tie will probably finish off Terry. But there's that death fire. Death fire is the reason Gozzi got to the last 16 round. Using it to finish off Dino Nerd last time out. Oh, he didn't get it though. And it's a tie. Exactly what Moloch wants. And yet, here goes Terry. And there's a 1-0 lead for Moloch Horridus. Wow. I have to say, Moloch Horridus has been so solid in this tournament throughout. Unexpectedly, unexpectedly winning Group C as well. A group which had Ultima Dino King in, I might add. And Seven Shots as well. Who's kind of risen through the ranks in other people's tournaments. Who has done reasonably well in those tournaments. And obviously knocking out Laos at the last 32 stage, which I didn't see coming. Right, as for Gossi's second Dino, it is Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. <laughs> I do ramble on sometimes, don't I? Oh, there's another tie. That's not good for Gauzy, but very good for Moloch. Oh, well, there goes Sychenia, but it definitely did the damage. Killing Terry, unlike the anime. Whee! You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record player. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Ooh, now Moloch could be in a bit of trouble here because second I know is Lillian Sternus, but... Where have we seen? Actually, yeah. This is literally a mirror match from the last 32 round. When it was Laos Alpha Acrocamphosaurus, which I might point out has the exact same moveset as Gozzi's. Interesting. It's gonna be a rematch. Can the Alpha Acro get revenge for its, um. Fallen Count Laos. For its fallen brother, we shall say. Oh, well, um. If it gets off Blazing Spin Attack, it's going to get some big fat revenge, isn't it? Lillian Sternus about to feel the burn. Whee! Boosh! Oh, look at the damage! But it does have Dino Illusion. Oh my god, did that ball just teleport upwards? That was interesting, isn't it? It does have the Dino Illusion, so the Lillian Sternus does have protection. Well, Ty's ain't gonna suit it now. Ty's will suit the girls, man. I don't know where I come up with that nickname now for Gauzy. It's like, the girls, man. 
Oh, look at that. Three ties in a row and down goes Lily Enstern. That's how costly could that be for Moloch Oradus? Is his tournament days coming to an end? Oh, it'd be kind of a shame, you know. You beat basically the two finalists last time out to not win the tournament. It's kind of a shame. But is Moloch's race run? It might be. Although, won't count them out yet. They got the Spino Tactor and they have come back from matches from losing positions before, so do not count Moloch Horridus out yet. And like I said, one hit from this Spino could kill the Acro. Use a tie. Okay, now it one hit will definitely kill it. But Moloch Horridus just cannot get this hit. Okay, there's oh, it's Dino Stuffer. <laughs> well, he finally got a hit, but the Dino Stuffer put a stop to it. Although, that might suit Moloch Horridus in the long term, because that bar at the bottom is filling up. So we could see some Dino Tactorage. Oh, there goes Alpha Acro, and we are level petting. But, as I said, that bar is getting full. And I think we are going to see the Dino Tector because it'll take at least two hits. Well, it'll probably take at least three hits to kill this Crowlophosaurus. Haven't seen too much of... Hasn't really done much for Gozzi in this map, in this tournament. The Crow has mainly been Terry doing all the damage. And now for Acro doing a bit too. Well, this is good. This is an intriguing match. Can Moloch come from behind the win, or can Gozzi take Moloch out? Oh, it's a tie. Oh, there's the Dino Tector. Yeah, this is it. Like, if, if Moloch gets a hit here, the Cryo might survive because it does have full HP, so I think it's going to survive an ultimate water. Well, we're going to find. We might be finding out. Actually, we probably will find out, because the odds of Moloch getting at least one hit off are favourable. Purely based on how many hits Gozzi would need to kill this thing. Oh, it's a tie! Although, ooh, now I think the Cryo's in killing range. Now the Cryo's in range. Now it's definitely in range. Voice went high! Has Gozzi done it? Has the chances... Has Moloch's chances frozen away? Oh, it's dead! Well... Moloch Horridus! Despite defeating Ultimate Dino King, despite knocking out Laos, is eliminated from the tournament and the surprises keep coming as it's LP Gozzi going through to the quarter-final round. Well, make that that could change everything. Wow, so many upsets so far in this knock in the knockout phase. Like this tournament has blown wide open. Like could could you imagine if Ultima Dino King gets taken out in well, not in this video, but in the next video, if he gets taken out as well. Wow. Who do you put as the favourite then? <laughs> Absolute insanity. Like, Moloch Horridus was probably my my second favourite to win this tournament. If I'm honest. I would put... I would have put... I put him at number two. Behind Ultima Dino King. As my... As my... As my, as my second favourite. Purely based on the results they were getting and how well they were doing. But, wow! They got taken out by Gozzi. Well... This next matchup could be interesting now because I'm sure they would have rather took their chances with against Gozzi than with than against Moloch. But yeah, Moloch Orodus out of the tournament, but they can definitely give themselves a well-deserved pat on the back for the many fine victories they have gotten this tournament. But unfortunately, you get no prize for finishing well, um, like tenth. Well, I'd probably say 11th, 11th, yeah. And in the next matchup, we're getting knocked out, finishes 10th, and then 9th, and then... No, no, 12th, and then 11th, then, and then 10th, and then 9th, and then we got our top 8. Right then, that was enticing, wasn't it? 
Let's see what this next matchup serves. As we will see, Xeno Slick Goat Pilk going up against Xeno Slick Goku. Right then, in the red corner, for Pilk, we got Alexo the Sword. Pilk getting a surprised win over Engineer Gaming, I would say. Did has done well to get to the last 16 round. Finished as one of the best fourth place teams. So it, it just goes to show, even if you don't get a high finish in the group stage, you could still do well in the knockout round. And Pilk does have the early type advantage here against his Pentaceratops, Xeno. So could that be key to decide who wins this match? Although this Pentaceratops does have Gatlin Spark and it will only be triggered if, it's a, if there's a tie. Of course, ties will probably be exactly what Pilk wants because he has the Quake Saber. So Quake Saber will get triggered at the same time as Gatlin Spark. So then Lexovasaurus will do a lot of damage should it get off that Quake Saber. Oh, oh, there's a tie. <laughs> you got your wish there, Pilky. Oh, another tie. Ooh, is this going to be a tie spam match? Nope, the Pentaceratops lands the first blood. Um, yeah, good hit there from Xeno. Pentaceratops, a balanced dinosaur, so... Though that rock and scissors move will definitely come in handy for it. Um, the thing with the type disadvantage is if, well, Pentaceratops' moveset is, is, is ideal for dealing with type disadvantages because, one, it's a balanced, it has balanced attack stats, and two, rock and scissors will basically carry you. And, and you may not even get the Gatlin Spark triggered, but look at this, Lex Oversaurus clinging by a thread. Pilt yet they get going, and he's now 1-0 down. Didn't take advantage of that type of advantage at all. Alright, I know about the whatever you just said. Alright, as for Pilk's second dino, it is the MVP itself. It is the long name with the long ass roar. It's Eustreptus Bondalus. Has a longer roar than Godzilla. I actually do think Eustreptus Bondalus has the longest roar sound in the entire franchise. Well, that could, or it could be something else. It might be, um, it might be one of the sauropods. It might actually be Isosaurus, but I'll have... we should test that. We should test out which dinosaur has the longest roar audio. I think it's, um, I'd say you strip the spawn, but this is definitely up. There's a tie. Um, Gojurasaurus would be a good one, because, mainly because it's delayed. Hey, Pilky got a hit! He struck the Spondylus, giving Pilk his first hit of the match. Here comes a Cyclone, which will definitely help with the ties. Oh, he didn't get the hit. Pentaceratops gets the hit, gets off a light recovery. Xeno Slick Goku extending his lead and looking really good. But Dino Illusion has been triggered, which could be, which could be useful for, for Pilk if he wants to get back in the match. Oh, well, there's another hit. This you struck the spawn list, not done yet. Another cyclone come in. Can Pelk make better use of it this time? Indeed he does. It's a tie, but again, the cyclone lets him attack, but it's the tag team. Tag team coming in. Pelkosaurus coming in to save a day. Whee! Boosh! Poor Papasaurus is basically a whoopee co Oh, oh, look at them. You just see the back leg then phase upwards. Oh, it's horrific. It's like his leg bone, like, shat stuck up, stuck out. Oh, it's brutal. Poor little thing. It's basically a whoopee cushion of the dinosaurs. Even the secret version is, like, garbage. Oh, it's not garbage. It's just not good compared to the other secret dinosaurs. Well, there goes the Dino Illusion. That would have given Xeno Slick Goku a 2 0 lead. That hit had he got it off, but the Cyclo, the Dino Illusion said no. However, this hit will give Pilk, will give Xeno a 2 0 lead. And it wasted the Gatlin Spark as well. Well. Ooh. Now things could get hairy here for Pilk. 
Although the Pentaceratops hasn't got Gatling Spark triggers, so maybe not so much, but he needs to get the next hit with this Ampelosaurus, or help could be going home. Mm -hmm. You know what I find interesting about Ampelosaurus? Is that the DS version, the spikes are grey. It's like, is it like a diff, like obviously the Ampelosaurus, and it seems a lot skinnier than the arcade version. Interesting, isn't it? Because Ampelosaurus, going back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 real quick, Ampelosaurus would be one of those models that I would like to personally port into the game instead of actually making it from scratch. Of course then, I, it would be like an... Maybe it's an elder Ampelosaurus, like, with the spikes of, like, lost their colour with age. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Well then, here's Zeno's second dino, it is Karanosaurus. And I should point out that Zeno's third dino is Sorophagonus, which would be at a tight disadvantage against Ampelosaurus, so... If Zeno lands some decent damage on this Ampelosaurus, he'll set himself up nicely to win. It's a crit. Yeah, I, I, I think this is it for Pilk. I had a good run in this tournament. Got some fine victories. Got to the last 16 round, which I think is better than they did last time. But yeah, I think Pilk's time in the tournament is coming to an end. Well, random number generator is delaying his defeat by a couple of seconds. Okay, that's a free. So that's a free and a foe. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that's it for Pilk. Karanosaurus getting the job done. Sorophagonax not even needed. And if it's Xeno Slick Goku, advance into the quarterfinals with a show to face LB Gossi. Right, time to look at the table. Well, the, bra the matchups, and then we can end the session. Well, there we go. Xeno Slick Goku kind of convincingly getting through to the quarters here, defeating Pelk. Kind of, un uh, you know, kind of mm, didn't didn't really get going, to be honest, Pelk. You know, had the type advantage in the early on and just could not take advantage of it. As I say, if he got off a Quake Saber, then we'd probably be looking at an entirely different match. But nope, that's how it goes. So is Xeno Slick Goku through to the quarterfinal round? Where, surprisingly, he will go up against LP Gossi and not Moloch Horridus, which I did not see coming. I thought Moloch was going to win this match, but apparently not. But yeah, the upsets keep happening, and look at this. Look at this. Three of the four quarterfinal matchups already, already decided. So, stay tuned for the final part of the last 16 round, where we will see who will face who in the last quarterfinal matchup. And yep, yeah, until then, this is Strange Gamer, signing out.